Do you have a bunch of clients in your head and you think when you meet someone you go, oh, that would be good for Tracy and stuff like that. You, you, you do that all the time? Exactly. Everywhere <clears throat> I go when I'm walking down the street, if I see a beautiful woman, I think to myself, wow, she could be great for John. She could be great for Craig, for example. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just establish that I'm not one of your clients, all right? I, I, just, I just want... Every... Today. Today. I'm not one of your clients today. Are you thinking that right... Looking at me right now, are you thinking, oh, he'd be good for Wendy or something? I'm thinking that you'd be good for Tracy. Actually. Tracy? Yes. Yeah, who's, who is she? No, 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 no. So now, how, how do you... You noticed that you, people you were introducing start getting married. Where do you earn a living out of this, though? So, like, you introduce people, they get married, and you say, well, that'll be 50 bucks? <laughs> uh, how do you earn a living? Well, in the beginning, it was just for fun, and now they actually pay me up front. Uh, they pay me thousands of dollars to find them the love of their life. You can't put a price on love, so I work with them. I think and... you can. You just did. <laughs> But to the people that I work with, yeah. there's no price for love. Oh, so. so you only fix up rich folks. <laughs> um, they don't have to be rich, they just have to want to pay me. Yeah, they don't have to be rich, they just have to they have a lot of money. They can rob a bank, uh, yeah. they can find someone else. Right. Whatever they need to do, they just need to pay my Right, so, so you... I provide tough love to my clients. Tough I, love. Do you say love. guys, like, lose the moustache or all that kind of stuff?